Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? MGo here, and today we will be reviewing Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Barricade. So let's head to the table and check them out. So here we are, and there he is. Finally, finally! You have no idea how happy I am to finally have this guy. I've been waiting forever. It seems like forever anyway. <laughs> But here is Barricade in his Mustang saline form, which looks very nice. The mold, is, they did a great job on this mold. And of course, he has his uh, lovely fiddle focus in. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. The nice Decepticon police emblem. Very nice. And of course, to punish and enslave. Because he will not serve and protect. That's not what he's about. A very nice detail. All around, of course. The license plate. To pun the you know, You know what it means. But, um, like with all the Human Alliance figures, you can open up the doors. And you actually get some very nice detail in the interior. I think this is actually the, the, the best interior on a Human Alliance figure so far. Because there's not a lot of junk in here, you know. There's not a missile or, you know, a missile launcher hands in here or anything. It's really nice and clean. So it actually works really well. Of course, back here, you can see, you know. Robot parts through the windshield here, but other than that, very, very nice. Now, you're probably wondering, well, where is his uh, little counterpart here? Well, he's hiding right in here, so first thing you want to do is you just want to bring these little pieces out here. Take this little bumper guard here, bring it down, bring the bumper itself down. And when you open up the hood, look who's there. It's Little Frenzy. All folded up in there. And Frenzy actually looks really nice. It's really a nice sculpt for Frenzy. I like it. You know, a lot of people have complained, oh, his eyes are red, they're supposed to be blue. I don't care. It, I think it looks cool. As far as I'm concerned, Decepticon's eyes just, you know, should be red. Blue is for Autobots. But, um, yeah, really nice little sculpt. Very nicely detailed. So, open Frenzy off to the side there. You can just hang out. Now Barricade looks like he's been in a car wreck. It's horrible. Just horrible. But, um, that's basically it for car mode. I mean, it's very nice. Um, the transformation is actually a lot like the Deluxe. It's not that far removed from the Deluxe version. Um, first thing you want to do is just kind of like grab a hold of the sides here. Just got to pry them loose. And bring them up. Take it, bring it up. Oop. Nope. We don't want to show that off yet, man. We don't want to show that off yet. Alright. And you just fold the seats down now if you want to. Um, then you want to take the roof of the car here and just untab it. It's pegged in there to the back of the legs. And then you just take the legs and just fold them down. Bring the feet out. So, you can take this whole assembly and just take it and just swing it like so. You can rotate the feet. And a nice little touch here is when you rotate the feet, this little spike comes up. Which is a nice little touch. I like that. And you take the side here, side part here, the bumper, and you rotate it up. Rotate it up. You want to take the bumper guard here, you want to bring it down, and just kind of 
bring it back up and this will actually fit right into this space right here and that'll basically lock everything in place like so and it locks everything in which is a nice little touch you bring the bumper down a little bit just give it a little bit of character and you, what you want to do here is you want to pivot the arms up like that just kind of rotate them up just kind of pick into place here take his hand and bring it out you take this part of the windshield and just fold it up and you take this wheel and just kind of like angle it in I don't know why but the instructions say to do it so I do it and you take this front part here you just rotate it like so you can take the windshield here and just bring it up now you want to take the hips and just kind of bring them up like so just bring it up they don't come up much it's literally just that that's that's all that comes up now you want to come back here take the hood pull it back pull it back out of the way there's the head bring it up pick it down you can bring this back up flush and these two little bits right here on his back you just spread them out kind of gives him a little wing look and kind of do what you want with the with the bumpers here and there you have human alliance barricade in the robot mode which is just simply simply awesome love 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 this figure so much it's not even funny one gimmick that he does have here if you push the little gas cap here you get his little saw blade you just kind of extend these you got the little saw blade that he had in the movie which is again a very nice touch and, oh yeah he has his little hip flaps here you're gonna bring these up too but yeah bring the doors down but yep there he is in all his glory love this figure like I said I've been waiting forever for it you can make him talk too his mouth moves and the head sculpt is really nice too love the head sculpt there you go very nice good light piping too and as usual with the human alliance figures you know it's pretty much the same gimmicks you could peg him onto his hand you know if you flip out you know the seat flip this back up he's got a little gun here you can take it man the gun um, You know, another gimmick is you can he can actually sit in the chest and kind of man these two uh, man these two chest guns. So you kind of have them sitting in here, like so, just kind of sticking out of his chest. He can man the guns. But um, you know, pretty much the basic human alliance gimmicks. You know, you can have them sitting you know behind his head but you know basic stuff and just for comparison here he is with his deluxe counterpart see the difference in detail and in size I mean it's just worlds apart but um yeah love this figure I so recommend that I, I can't recommend this figure enough as far as I'm concerned, you have to get it. Um, this is just, I, I, I think so far this is the best Human Alliance figure that's been released so far. Um, I do have Human Alliance Mudflat coming out, and uh, got word that there's going to be a Human Alliance Jazz, too. Which is going to be cool, so. There is um, Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Barricade, and this is Emgo, rolling out.